everyone my name is Bindu welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to talk about measure tables in power bi we are going to learn what measure tables are why are they used and how to create these measure tables in your power bi report let's get started so what is a measure table measure tables are nothing but a kind of tables it's just another data set which has all the measures in your power bi uh, report it can consist of all the measures or you can put only some of the measures in your measure tables but as a rule of thumb it's always better to have all the measures that are there in the report in the measure tables it is because the measure table it appears on the top of all the data sets i'll show you in the demo how it appears so uh, so if you hand over your report, the report which you created to some other person, it will be easier. It will be very easier for them to go through the measure table and get the list of all measures that are there in the report. So that's one use. And uh, you can also create subfolders in this measure tables and you can place uh, the measures related to different data set in one in, in a specific subfolder. So that's another use of this of this uh, measure table so these are the two major benefits of using the measure tables now that we know what are the uses of these measure tables let's go and create these measure tables let's get into my laptop if you look at my screen here i created a simple power bi report uh, there's nothing fancy in this report it just have uh, two data sets um, so all my measures are here in this financial data set okay so i have ltd ltd1 and ltd2 which are three versions of um, ltds i created this report in my uh, previous video uh, how to create how to calculate ltd in power bi you can go and watch it if you want so here in this example i just want to create measure tables right so the first thing i do is i click on home tab i click on enter data and here the name of the measure table you can give any name but uh, just to make it clear i'm just giving it as measure table and just say load it you don't have to change anything here so when i say load it a new table is created see if you see here a new table is created with one column in it so what i do now is i want to move all these three measures to my new measure table okay so i click on this and here when you click on this in the properties you see the home table here and it uh, tells you in which data set it belongs so you can change that to a uh, now you can change it to measure table because you want to move it to that uh, measure table now the same thing you do with ltd1 i want to change it i want to move it to another table so i changed this as well and ltd2 i'm going to change this as well i'm going to change this to measure table so all my all three of my measures are moved to measure table now so this is my new measure table what i do is i i click on this column and i hide it because i don't want to uh, show i don't want any columns to be visible in my measure table okay so i have these three measures and they are in a, a measure table now so what you have to do is you have to just minimize this and open this back now this measure table is on the top of the list and the icon of this is also changed it now appears something like a calculator icon that represents it as a measure table okay so now what i want to do is i want to group these two into one folder and this ltd2 into a different folder to do that you go to model tab here so you see this model tab on the left right you click on this and you go to the measure table here and click on the ltd column uh, you can make this folder as l in the display folder you have to uh, give the name of it ltd version one let's say something like that version one and two maybe okay i'll copy this so now ltd is in this folder now 
the same way i will display i'll put the display folder name for ltd1 as well it's the same one and ltd2 what i'll do is i'll give a different folder name i'll give something as version 3 okay so my subfolders are also created let's go back and now if you see in the measure table you have two subfolders ltd version 1 and 2 and ltd version 3 ltd version 1 and 2 has two measures ltd version 3 has one measure so this is how you create measure tables and subfolders in the measure tables i hope this is clear now i hope you understood how to create measure tables and what is the use of measure table now if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you